Welcome back to my medieval city. I've been playing around a little bit with what I want to do to make this look a little more witchy, potiony. I don't know. I might continue trying to do that. I might not. We'll see. But anyway, today we're going to build another house back in here. This is going to be a little tricky because of this crazy hill right here. Um, but I want to add something else back here. And I'm thinking maybe right here. So a little house. I think we'll do a little house right here. Doesn't really need to be a shop. Could be, I guess, but I'm not really too worried about a shop right here. So let's get into build mode. I've been away from the game for a while. I've been having a lot of fun in Fallout 76, but I thought I should probably get back to doing some stuff here in Fallout 4. So I'm going to find my castle in the sky and I want to probably pick another stone set as my base for the house. Trying to decide what I've done around here. I want to do kind of like I did over here. Where you have a way in. Underneath of it. I haven't done one of those lately and I thought it might be kind of cool to do that. We don't have a lot of room right here, so I'm hoping that I have I have enough of an area where I can do this. So what I'm thinking is I want my wall to go maybe right about here. And I want to make sure it's not floating. And I want to make sure it's straight, and that totally was not. And I don't want it so close that it's going to be touching that other house, which it probably will. I may not have enough room here for this house. We shall see. I'm going to snap another piece under there. Make that easier on myself. Okay. Um, let's see. Over here. Whoa. No, no, no. What are you doing? What is going on? Gee. I would like to go this way. Of course, I'm going to have to turn my snapping off. There we go. Actually, all I had to do was turn it a little bit and it snapped for me. Perfect. And then... I'll go this way. I think we're going to have enough room. I need to decide where I want to put my door into this place too. Is anybody floating over here? They are, so let's add some pieces underneath. Hard to tell when you're doing it, but when you look back at it, you can definitely see it. Come on. All right. Okay, that's looking good. Um, I'm thinking probably that's all the bigger. I kind of want my door to be right here. If I go up any further, I'm not going to have room for my door because of the way the hill is. So we'll just put the door in the middle. Okay, somebody work with me here. go and I think this was floating wasn't it no that was not okay that'll be good so this one here let's change this to a door is that the match I think it is let's see if we can get through this if not I'll move my door to the other side well I kind of can but the game one's not going to let me do it. So I'm going to have to put my door down here. Not exactly where I wanted it, but it'll do. So let's switch that back. Whoa. And I should be able to get into this one. 
Perfect. No problem. Okay. So that's going to be the base of the house right there. Cool little under area, which we might not be able to get up in this section. Who knows? Once I get the ceiling on, it may not let me get that far. But we'll see. Let's continue with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and drop some floors in here. And I'll just go with some wood floors. And I have to decide, see this house is going to be different because we're going to come up into the house from the very bottom, from down here. So I have to decide where I'm going to put my my uh, ladder. I'm thinking maybe right there would work. Down here is going to be kind of the kitchen area, I think. I think it would be kind of cool to do it a little bit different. Do my kitchen area down here, storage up in there. And then up here could be the living area. So that's the plan with this one. I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and whoop, get back into build mode. Drop my ladder in there if I can remember where it is. I always lose my ladder. Decorations. Finally remembered. Okay. Let's go right there. I wish I could stick a piece on the bottom because it's going to be floating, but all of them are floating, so it doesn't really matter. And let's get up here and put in the rest of the floor. If this doesn't run the right direction, it does not. I'm going to use two of these little guys to make it run the right direction. There we go. That looks pretty good. I could even, whoa, I could even add one more right here just to make it smaller. Make that hole smaller. Works for me. Okay, there we go. It's a funny looking house. We're gonna go from there. So, all right, so what I wanna do is we're gonna put a little bump out on the front here like right here. I like that. I don't want it to be huge because we're so close to this other house. Stop doing that every time I want to look at something. That's probably going to be what I use. I like the look of that. Um, not sure. I might change my mind. We'll see, but let's go ahead and get the walls on here. So for this one, we're going to do mostly single windows. And I gotta decide, what do I want? What do I have here? I've got those kind here, I have that, that, I got those. I've got a little mi mixture of everything, don't I? So, did I use that over here? Nope. Let's just go with this one. And I want to make sure it's popping up. There we go. I wanted it to be up over the floor. Then we just want a couple of plain walls. I think these ones back here, I'm not going to put any windows just because of the wall being right there. Come on, hop up there. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so right here I'm going to put another floor. There we go. How do I have it running this way? Let's see if I can try it right here. There we go. Snapping it in. Trying to anyway. <laughs> We're going to have a little room right here. 
and the rest of this is just going to be open. Well, lower, I guess is the word. Okay, so let's put our window. This is going to be facing the house, so inside the house we're just going to pop these in. Oops, I keep backing out of everything when I don't mean to. Okay, and then we've got these guys. Well, that looks kind of cute. Okay, so this roof, I don't know what I have as far as my options. I didn't really think about that with this tiny little roof. Um, let's see. I'm hoping something looks decent here. That will work, but we've got to find the ones with the end. Yeah, there we go. So let's put that one there. And we're going to pop this one in here. There we go. That looks pretty cute. And then down here, I'm going to do a roof. But it's going to be... I have to decide, do I want this one? The lower roof. Or do I want the bigger roof? Um, I like this one. Where's the end? Let's see what happens if I do this this size roof. I think I like the lower. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with that. Where's the middle piece? Is that the middle piece? Uh, we don't really have to have it closed on the out that side there since this is looking at the roof. Okay, that'll work. So let's just pop that there. Then I've got to find the right one. Oh, there it is. Perfect. That's a cute little house. I think that'll do. Ah! Woo, I can't believe I didn't get hurt. That was crazy. Okay. Let me think about this little piece right here. I wanted it there, but now I'm not sure I want it there. Or I might change it. Okay, let's look at this. What do we have as our options for that? That's what I have there. There's a double window. There's a little triangle, which might look better with what I have above it. Ooh, I think I like that better. Let's try that. See what that looks like. It's so close to the other house, but I wanted this to be a close little alley and that's going to be close. So that looks better. I like that. What else do we have? Three window. I don't really need a three. Ooh, that's huge. And they get bigger. Yeah. So that's probably what I'm going to go with because I kind of like it better with the way the top is there. Okay. We're going to go with that. Let's make sure we can still fit in the house. Yeah. <laughs> that would be bad if we couldn't. Okay. That works. That's great. Well, now we've got to figure out a way to get up to that little room up there. I'm up on the main floor here. This is my little outdoor thingy. Again, we've got that problem of the little hole out there because of what I did here. So I've got to figure that out. I'll worry about that later because I'm going to have to look through everything I own, all my mods, to figure out how to fix that, and I'll worry about it later. I think I have the same problem in the house next door. <laughs> might not even fix it. I think the last time I was like, yeah, might not fix it. Let's go ahead and just do this little guy. Turn him this way. Back down here. Uh get in there. That one so he matches. Problem. Because I snapped my walls up and it did it down here too, I realize. You can see I might just have to lower all of my walls because I don't like that. I could go out there and put some stuff like um, I could plug it out there. 
which I might do that. Let's see. I like how it looks up over the floor, but I don't want the hole there. So I'm either going to have to find something that I can use to kind of plug that, which I think there is something I can use, or I need to lower all of my stuff. But I think I'm going to try to plug this. So I'll be right back in a minute. I'm going to see what I can find. I found something. Manor House supports. We're just going to put this in here. It's going to kind of come in there so you can barely tell. I'm trying to get it as straight as I can so it kind of seamlessly fits in there. It might poke out a little bit here and there. But that's going to give me what I need to cover these little holes. Nope, don't be snapping there. Okay, let's turn off snapping. Come on. Almost. So close. I'd say that's good enough. Yep. And then we'll gotta get this guy in. That should be good. Just trying to make it look like it's not a big hole there. Yeah. That did wonders. Yay! Okay, whoop, how do I get in my house? Let's pop that last ladder in. And we're going to do it over here. Oh, I've got to turn my snap back on. Here we go. That's great. So now we have a way up into there. That'll be another little bedroom up there. I like how this looks so far. I'm thinking that's going to be a cute house when that's all done. I'm thinking also... I might put the chimney in a little bit of a different place. I might even close this off over here and just make this a little itty bitty room and maybe over here put a door in the back for storage. Ooh, that's an idea. So let's get back to what manor house. Find my walls. I think this was it? Yes. Oh, well, I like where that's snapping. Perfect, because I want to kind of put my... Where's that snap, though? Yeah, I don't want my, my uh, fireplace to be that far over, though. Let's see. But if I do it up here, this would be way too small. Come on. If I do it here, it's be a tiny kitchen. Unless I do it like... Stop it! Cripes. Like that. Which, that's better. Yeah, I could work with that. Because I'm thinking about having my fireplace so that it comes out right beside where that tall part of the roof is. And that would work better. Right there. Or right there. Yeah. Let's fix these gaps down here that I have. And then we'll run around, around over here and add the door to the back. I would say probably we should be able to get in right there. Even if we can't, we're going to pretend we can. Oh, we got it! Yay! Perfect storage area. Okay, great. Let's find doors. I don't remember where doors are. Oh, there they are. Where's my house? It's going to kind of glitch a little when it opens, but that's okay. 
There we go. I like it. That is cute. It's very, very close to our house next door, but that's okay. I'm going to try to close this in a little bit more with trees and stuff to kind of make it look a little bit more dark and lived in. And I'm still not sure about grass mods. A couple of people have given me ideas about what I could do. Different grass mods. Some make it really big. Some make it really little. I don't know. I've been messing around with that. Haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I don't like how plain it looks. So I'm probably going to add something back to it eventually. So this won't be quite so barren looking. Even though it has helped me figure out where my road is so that I can place all my houses. Oh, hey, Carla. She's looking sad as ever. So yeah, I think that'll be it today. I will work on getting everything else done behind the scenes. And I'll see you all for my next build later. Bye!